you got a phone call saying that you were going to be in the Buffalo and the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame, what was going through your mind? To be honest, I was very surprised, uh, but truly grateful for uh, someone recognizing that you know, I can contribute uh, and be a, be a winner. You know, I, I, I think that's the most important thing. Uh, when you look at me and you look at my stats, I'm not about stats, but the only thing I've ever done is help teams win. Uh, this being part of such, I would say, uh, athletic royalty in this building, it's, it's an honor that I'll never forget. When you came in and you saw your display, what was your thought? I was not bad for a country boy. <laughs> not bad for a country boy. I got that from my my late uh, my late financial advisor, Mr. Dylan Wilcox, and uh, you know, it's, it's an honor. I, it's something not for myself more so, but for my family. Uh, you know, there's so many people that have sacrificed and worked extremely hard to give you an opportunity just to to, to succeed. And this is uh, no doubt a sign of, of success. And you know, I'm grateful. And your boys, you have your boys here with yeah. you. They get to see right. what Dad has done and what Dad has meant at Let It Run. Right. Oh, right. definitely so. Uh, they they heard about how I used to play, and, and but for them to see me be a part of such a shrine of, of athletes, uh, it's an honor. I'm, I'm happy for them. And you know, the most important thing that they get from this is that if you work hard and you give you all of something, something good to come out of.